Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to create and animate a spring and make its movements more realistic using the delay effector. First, let's make a spring. Create a helix spline by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon and choosing helix from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab. Increase the end angle to 2000 degrees. Increase the height to 400 cm. Change the plane to XZ and adjust the helix in the viewport. Create a circle spline that will define the cross section of the spring by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon and choosing circle from the pop up palette. Go to the object tab and reduce the radius to 10 cm. To sweep the circle along the helix, create a sweep generator by clicking and holding on the subdivision surface icon and choosing sweep from the pop-up palette. And make the circle and helix the children of the sweep generator so that the circle is located above the helix. Then create a squash and stretch effector by clicking and holding on the bend icon and choosing squash and stretch from the pop-up palette. Make the squash and stretch a child of the sweep so that it is under helix. Go to the object tab. Press the feed to parent button at the very bottom. And animate the factor property. For this, click on the diamond to the left of the factor property to create the first keyframe. Move the time slider to frame 20. Set the factor property to 120%. And create the second keyframe. Move the time slider to frame 80. And create the third keyframe. Extend the timeline to 160 frames. Move the time slider to frame 100. Set the factor property to 100%. And create the fourth keyframe. Go to the start of the timeline and press the play forwards button to test the animation. Stop the animation and go to the start. Now let's make the movements more realistic by making the spring wiggle for a while after it's stretched and compressed. We will do this using a delay effector, which will affect a previously created squash and stretch effector with a temporal delay. Create a delay effector by clicking and holding on the plane icon and choosing delay from the pop-up palette. Make the delay a child of the sweep so that it is under the squash and stretch. Go to the Effector tab, increase the strength to 90% and switch the mode to Spring. Go to the Deformer tab and switch the deformation property to Point or Polygon. Press the Play Forwards button. It's ok. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.